guys, I'm Myra with Atomic Baby Cosplay, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about some of my best tips for creating a gathering of fellow cosplayers and why you might want to do that. So first I wanted to say why this idea came to me is that on Sunday, in like three days, I am going to be going to a cosplay group meetup for the cosplay group that I run, and we're calling it a work day. So what we're going to do is we are going to all gather at the same place and work on our cosplays together. And it's a really great opportunity because we're going to be able to share lots of different ideas and bounce like ideas and problems off of each other. We're going to be able to share our skills and our expertise with each other really easily and really freely. And it's just easier sometimes to work on cosplays when you have companionship to work on those cosplays with you. I know sometimes if I'm going to be working alone and there's other people around, I don't really want to work on my cosplays as much because I'd rather be spending time with the other people in my life. But this is literally an opportunity to just work on cosplay and hang out with the people in my life. So I think just explaining why this idea came to me really shows you some of the benefits that you can get from having your own cosplay meetup, which is that you can kind of share your skills and your ideas and have companionship and all that. But the other thing that it can do is if you have a regularly scheduled one, like say the first Wednesday of every month or something like that, it can increase your accountability because if you say, hey, I'm going to do X, Y, Z between this meetup and the next meetup, well, that encourages you to actually do X, Y, Z so you can bring it to the meetup and be like, see, look, I did the thing that I said I was going to do. So I highly, highly, highly encourage you to try your hand at meeting up with other fellow cosplayers, even if it's not a big group, just like a one or two other people. I still think it could be really beneficial. Now, that being said, if you do have a larger group you want to get together, I thought I would talk about some of the good places that you could do projects together. So first, sometimes local libraries will allow you to borrow space for different meetings and groups, so that could be a good avenue to explore. I don't promise that it would work, but it's an opportunity. Another really awesome option would be coffee shops. Coffee shops are a great place to do meetups um, because a lot of times they have really comfy seating and they have multiple chairs and it's kind of a big open space and you can make some noise without being too worried about it. But the downside of a coffee shop is you can't really bring, you know, a sewing machine. But you could bring, you know, like a hand project that you have to work on if you're, um, if you're going to be, say, hand embroidering something or hand stitching something or you're sketching something. All of those are great options for coffee shops. And kind of on that same line of thought, breweries are also a really great idea. Some breweries have really great areas for just kind of lounging and hanging out, and you could potentially use those places as really great meetups, again, for hand projects and smaller things that you can do there. Some cities also have things like maker spaces. These are locations that can be rented that have lots of craft supplies in them. Um, sometimes they require a membership, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they're too expensive and sometimes they're not. So definitely investigate your local maker spaces. They might be really good options to host a cosplay gathering. And then the last place that I'll suggest is somewhere like um, Joann's, and I think Michael's might do it too, but I'm not sure. I know Joann's, if they don't have a class going on in their classroom, they will offer to let you host a meetup in their classroom. As long as you're not selling anything or something like that, you can host meetups at the Joann's classrooms for free whenever a class is not going on. So that can be a really good opportunity as well, because while they probably won't let you use their equipment, they do have lots of tables there and chairs and things like that, so it'd be a really good spot to be able to kind of spread out and work on projects. They also have electrical outlets, so you could really easily bring your own sewing machine and work on your sewing machine there. All right, so that's all I've got for you today, guys. If you found this helpful, definitely give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. I do them on Tuesdays and Thursdays on a sewing or cosplay topic. And drop me a comment down below with your best tip or your best experience from a meetup that you've had with other cosplayers or other sewers or knitters or what have you. And lastly, I have a free sewing community over on Facebook called Fellowship of the Seam. I'll put a link in the description bar down below. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.